here is the instrument we are going to make a preview on this one this is a multifunction meter you can see so here is the description for this one and here the price is the regular price is 14 dollar uh, 35 cent but at the moment it is in uh, discount 10 dollar 19 cents so this one is and this is for of course from icstation.com here is the item i'm going to unbox uh, IC station item so here you can see this is the digital is written over here and inside it's the amazing multifunction meter just I'm going to remove it from the box and on the box what we can see is LCD then AC 100 ampere uh, later on AC 80 to 300 volt so these are what are the specifications for this instrument and here is the little other detail which is not mentioned okay uh, so here is a little paper we can see this is for the connection they have given some manual and they have given some connection details you can see uh, this is you can see from the power it should come some way like this that the phase and neutral should be given first to the uh, measurement side and then this is the CT side I will show you on the instrument and then this one wire should go should pass through the CT and then to the load and then to the return something like that so first the power should be given to the whatever this uh, measuring terminals the two these are the voltage terminals actually and here this is the CT which is the current uh, reference so this uh, load is going through that CT so I'm going to show you and this is of course 100 ampere load you can drive by this instrument this is something amazing instrument when you will see uh, the number is D692049 multifunction digital meter they have written something like that and what is the beauty of this instrument is now I'm going to show you uh, you can check so many things I mean four quantities simultaneously or same at the time same time you can check the all the four quantities voltage current running power and kilowatt hour this is the beauty of this small instrument and here you can see this is very very much tiny instrument you can fix it on a hand something like that and the connection is of course uh, some opening you have to create and then you have to fix it some way like that and it will do as a panel meter as well as um, a regular uh, whatever test instrument uh, as a test instrument also it will do so now I'm going to connect it I'm going to show you the detail how to connect this one uh, here is one of the extension board I just created and the LED I disconnected for the power purpose so that the LED should not take any power uh, these two are connected actually inside and uh, what we can see is here this is the CT side you can see the CT is here current transformer and the wire for the load should pass through this CT and then this will be referenced the current to the instrument and this is the way and here is the voltage terminal you can see these two we will provide with the voltage uh, so for the voltage what I am doing is I am using a cable I am using a cable like this one this cable I am using for the voltage and power both so this one we will connect it over here I am going to show every, every connection every detail so that a person who is about to work on this instrument I mean about to plan to purchase this one will be able to do work with after watching this video so just opening the terminal over here you can see I'm just entering this wire here and then the other wire also uh, this one through the CT one should I should pass through the CT like this one or uh, this anyway you can pass it because this is alternating current so this wire should be passed through the CT as I passed it now you can see for this extension board and the other one I will not pass this will directly go to the uh, voltage reference or whatever the power connection so the one I connected I will re remove it again 
and put this wire together with the wire I just put it in something like that uh, just using the twisted connections later on while I will fix it permanently I will use some proper arrangement for this one now just using twisted connections this temporary arrangement only so I am loosening this terminal and tightening the both of the wires in so now you can see how this connection is you can see this is the same as the diagram was illustrating that the voltage should come here the power and then one wire should pass uh, to the load and then the other wire should be returned to the power same way like this as they have given this diagram here on the instrument so hope you understand this now I'm going to switch this on this unit we are going to switch on I'm putting this in 200, 220 volts line so you can see the instrument has been switched on and a very beautiful display is coming so if I will put it some way like this this will be great as you can see all the parameters are there this is the wattage the, of course there is no power no load connected so the power is coming zero zero watt and zero kilowatt hour had been um, used and the ampere is of course zero as well because no ampere has been taken and then the voltage is coming 220 volt my line voltage now I'm going to connect my soldering iron to this then we will see how it will behave and then maybe a little more wattage more power this more power load I will connect our iron also I will connect later on first I'm connecting my soldering iron so let us see the soldering iron so this is very very much uh, sensitive you can say very very much sensitive um, device or instrument because this is showing 23.7 watt for my soldering iron as well as 0.1 ampere for the um, for this soldering iron and voltage had been a little bit reduced this is due to the connections and whatever the wire i'm using because i'm drawing power so the voltage had been dropped a very very much little amount so that little amount even it is showing now i'm going to compare this voltage in front of you on my digital multimeter the fluke so you will be able to see the health of this instrument that the fluke will also uh, comply with the with my instrument so let us see fluke is showing something the very same thing which this instrument is showing so this is you can see 219.9 and here is also 219.8 something like that so very very much accurate reading and we are sure that the power reading will also be very very much good because as at the moment you can see this is for the soldering iron now I'm going to put my uh, other iron this one uh, regular cloth press iron I'm going to put it here and showing the power of that in front of you I'm going to connect it so that you will see so I'm putting it aside the soldering iron and now the, this iron I'm going to show you so this is taking something 928 uh, 900, 928 watt and uh, the kilowatt hour is increasing you can see uh, by 0 0.004 0 0.005 it will be now and the voltage had been reduced a little bit as you can see and this is due to the wiring resistance and 4.3 ampere is the current for this one so this instrument is really sensitive and it is of course very very much I mean to say very much useful instrument you can say because this is what now at the moment you can see we can we are able to check our our iron our soldering iron whatever it is so now it will be switched off in a little time uh, because the iron will go automatically off now it's off you can see and at the moment it had used 0 0.01 
4 kilowatt hour. Now I am going to put the cell phone charger uh, in this instrument so that I will show how, how much current is taken uh, by the cell phone charger. And at the moment what we can do is uh, we can press on this tiny button. This is I think a reset button for this power reading. It will be zero then when I will press on this power button for a little while it will be zero. Yeah. After four or five seconds it takes and then it is zero. Everything is reset. This is a reset button actually. I am going to put this uh, uh, cell phone charger for uh, Samsung standard or Android standard I'm going to put it in and going to show you how much power it is consuming so when it is connected for a very very short while it took a little power now I'm going to connect it again you can see and then it reduced to zero zero watt so standby power for this one is zero watt and now I'm going to check the mobile phone with it while charging let us see how much power it is taking while it is charging the phone now it is charging as you can see it is charging and it is taking something 4.8 4.8 watt 4.5 watt something like that and very very much tiny current of course it is taking so something 4.8 watt it is taking while it is charging a phone so this is so this device is you can say uh, an ultimate choice for a household user or whatever an experiment person like me and like you this will be a very much good choice for a person so this is really I love this instrument and uh, I will make a perfect board something this uh, wooden board you can see this is like a box I created so this one I just marked positions also over here you can see what I will do is I will make cutting in certain positions and I will make I will put this instrument in somewhere or here or here and then some switches also I will populate and then I will make a series board over here because one of our very noble friend Mr. Talal uh, Toolman Toolman Talal he requested for the use of uh, series lamp and electrical system so I will show and of course I will use this instrument uh, in, that in that box which just I show you uh, I will create a, a board a perfect board and that will do hopefully that will do the purpose I will check so many items and electrical items and my hobby will go along with this one and hope we will create many videos with a measurement something like this because this is you know something amazing device which I just uh, got it from the IC station thank you IC station you have very very much nice device and this is really beautiful so people thanks for watching keep on watching stay tuned friends and if this video can give you some help uh, please like this video subscribe my channel and share this with your friends